Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, as promised, I am starting another <clears throat> throwback series, similar to the one where I had the 1909 White Sox taking on the 1982 Seattle Mariners. And also, as promised, this one does not include a White Sox team. Today, we're going to have a three-game series. We're going to start the three-game series. This will be game one of a three-game series between the 1994 American League Boston Red Sox and the 1978 Detroit Tigers because I had a uh, I had somebody who watches the videos um, say to me that he was a Detroit fan, a Detroit Tigers fan, so I figured, okay, well, then the next game, you know, the next series will be, will involve the Detroit Tigers. So we've got the 1978 Tigers, and they will be at home in Old Tiger Stadium, taking on the 94 um, American League um, Boston Red Sox. The matchup today will be Roger Clemens on the mound for Boston and Jack Billingham on the mound for the Tigers. Uh, let me turn down the sound before I start in with the game. And let's play ball. And there it is, Tiger Stadium. And there you go. So you can see the alignment out there, but you'll see them as they come up. But it's uh, Kemp, LaFleur, and uh, Corcoran, it looks like, in, along the outfield. And then Mankowski, Trammell, Whitaker, and Thompson are around the infield for Detroit. And then Milt May behind the plate with Otis Nixon up for the Red Sox. So without any further delay, let's get going. And uh, Nixon's out. So there's one away for Boston. That brings up Billy Hatcher. Looks like Billy Hatcher's going to get something. Maybe a double. No, a triple. Billy Hatcher with a triple, and now Mo Vaughn is up. That's going to be a grounded out to Whitaker, looks like. And it, and no, they wait. What happened? Hmm, he was safe. And he knocked the run in. All right, well, uh, probably an error then, I would guess. But anyway, Valentin's up. Jose Valentin. Boston with a 1 nothing lead and Vaughn at first base. And that's an out. And then uh, Scotty Cooper. Scott Cooper is up for the Red Sox. And it looks like he's going to fly out to Kemp. That's what it looks like. And it is. So the uh, Red Sox came away with one, and they got Ron LaFleur leading off for them against Roger Clemens, the Rocket Man. And he strikes out. Oh, no, maybe not. Well, uh, yeah, he does. Whitaker's up. Looks like Whitaker's going to ground out. And he does, and that brings up Rusty Staub. And again, with these lineups, I just go with whatever the computer gives me as the lineup based on the pitcher. I don't go in and make any changes myself, so... They're gone, and now that brings up the Gator for the Red Sox. Mike Greenwell, the Gator. And he is going to probably fly out to Kemp. That brings up Andre Dawson. I didn't even remember that Andre Dawson was on the Red Sox. And he might have just went deep. And he did. So it's 2 nothing. Red Sox. So far they've scored at both innings that they've played, that they batted in. And that brings up Timmy Naren. Tim Nary. We'll see what happens there. Mankowski throws him out. And that brings up Damon Berryhill. 
for the Red Bird. I'm not saying that's going to be a, a ground out. Yeah. So they did get one run, and so now the Red the uh, Tigers are down by two in the first game of this series. Jason Thompson up at the plate, and did he get all of it? It looks like he got all of it. I mean, if he didn't, there's some kind of serious sense of humor. All right, so they bring it within one. They cut the lead to half, and now that brings up Steve Kemp, who I loved. I loved Steve Kemp. He was on the White Sox as well, though, so. And he walks, so that brings up Tim Corcoran. Pretty nice when Tim Corcoran could be like your eighth or ninth batter. Hey. Milt May up with one down and Kemp at first. And uh, Milt May, let's see what he's got. Nope, he's out. And that brings up Mankowski. You know, Kemp was the seventh, or uh, Corcoran was the seventh player. But still, that's pretty good. Mankowski down. So that brings Otis Nixon to the plate for the Red Sox. Um, in the top of the third, they have a 2-1 lead. And they hit one out to Ron LaFleur, but it looks like he'll probably play that. And he does. Billy Hatcher up. He has a triple on the day. One for one with a triple. Uh, Billingham. And that's an out. And that brings up Mo. Big Mo. Gotta go to Mo. Let's move on. And it looks like he's out. So, the Tigers take over in the bottom of the third. They're only down by a run. It's two to one with Trammell up. And Trammell's out, and Ron LaFleur, he's up, and he's down. And that brings up Lou Whitaker, sweet Lou. No, that's Lou Pinella. All right, so uh, what happened there? Did he get out? He did. So Whitaker's aboard with Rusty Staub up. Who passed away recently, I believe. And he is out. So we go to the top of the fourth, the Red Sox leading two to one. The 94 Red Sox ahead of the 78 tires. And Jose Valentin, it looks like he will pop out. That brings up Scotty Cooper. He's out, and that brings up the Gator, Mike Greenwell. And the Gator might just have gone deep, possibly. Yes, it is a home run. So now Boston has a 3-1 to one lead with Andre Dawson up. And he's going to ground out to Jason Thompson. He did have a home run, though, so we go to the bottom of the fourth. Jason Thompson, the man who made that last play to get the Tigers out of the inning, strikes out. Although he does have the only run knocked in, the only run for Detroit with his home run. Steve Kemp, who has a walk on the day and no official bat, and he, he may have, no, he's going to probably fly out to Nixon. And that brings up Tim Corcoran. 0 for 1 on the day. And he's out. No, he's not. He walked. Surprising. All right, so Milt May is up. And Milt May. Look at Milt May. He might have just went shopping at the Gap. No, it's a home run. Yeah, he went shopping at the Gap, the home run Gap. All right, so, hey, the Tigers have tied this game. It's crazy. And then that brings up Mankowski. It looks like Phil Mankowski's out. So we're going to the top of the fifth, nearing up. 
the Tigers have fought their way back, and but now Billingham has to hold them in this, but it looks like Nary is going to get at least a double on that. And he does. And that brings up Damon Berryhill. And Damon Berryhill hits a ground ball to first, and Jason Thompson will make the play. But Nairing does move to third with one out and nicks it up. I'm still not going to bring the infield in. First of all, I don't generally like doing that, but it's still early enough. Let's see if Corcoran can make that play, though. And he does, and there is two down, but the Red Sox scored a run on that, and they take a 4-3 lead with Billy Hatcher up. Billingham not really on top of his game here. And that might be a base hit. No, he's out. So we go to the bottom of the fifth. Tigers down by a run, 4-3, to three, trammel up. And that's a dribbler. Let's see if he can get on from it. And he is safe. So he's aboard with Ron LaFleur up, and he's 0-2 against the Rocket. And there's a double play, hit into a double play, and now Whitaker's up. And that will be an out. So, top of the sixth, Boston coming to the plate. They have a 4-3 lead and Mo Vaughn staring Billingham down and striking out, looks like. Brings up Jose Valentin. And he is going to be out. That's two down. And Scotty Kupa up at the plate. And he may be flying out to the floor. And he is. So we go to the bottom of the sixth. Staub at the plate. The Tigers needing a run to tie here. In game one of this three-game series between the 94 Red Sox and the 78 Tigers. And that's going to be an out with Jason Thompson up. He's one for two on the day with a homer. And he may have hit another one. Did he hit another one? Get out of here. Get out of here. He did, though. All right, so Steve Kemp at the plate. And by the way, the computer is controlling the Red Sox, so it's up to him what, what changes to make. I'm controlling the Tigers. Kemp gets aboard. So we got Kemp at first, one out only, and Tim Corcoran up. 0 for 1 on the day, though. Looks like he may have flown out to Nixon. And that's an out, and then we bring up Milk May. And he is out. So, the Tigers tied the game. It's 4-4, top of the seventh. Billingham is the, uh, the leash is getting shorter for Billingham now. The Gator is up the plate. Going to hit the ball up the middle, looks like. Maybe uh, he's out. No, oh, he's out. So Dawson up. Looked like maybe that could be a base hit, but it wasn't. Andre Dawson looks like he's flying to Kent. And he is out. So Timmy Naring. Naring. It's up to play. One for two with a double today. And he's going to ground out to Trammell, I believe. And that is it. So. We have, uh, they're, they're playing uh, Take Me Out to the Ball Game. And the, the uh, Tigers are coming up in the bottom of the seventh. Phil Mankowski up against Clemens still. Both starters are still in there, despite the fact it's 4-4. And he's going to rip a base hit, Mankowski. So you got Trammell up. He's 1-2. 
and he's going to rip a base hit. Is he? Yes, he is. And I'm going to hold the runner. 65% is with no out. You don't want to do that. And now I am going to sacrifice with LaFleur, even though it doesn't look like he's that great at sacrifice. I am going to, I'm going to stay with the bunt. And he did move everybody over. So runners are now at second and third with just one out and Whitaker up. And what are they going to do? They're going to take Clemens out, bring the infield in. No, they're just uh, they're just pitching to Whitaker, and Whitaker rips it through the hole. I am going to send the lead runner. That's eighty-five percent chance. Wait a minute, what happened? Did he change me to controlling both teams? No, well, I'll have to watch out for that next time. But anyway, I guess I am going to stop the other runner from scoring. I intended for the computer to take, but sometimes when you fill everything in, you complete filling everything in, the computer change for some reason changes one of the teams back to um, human control. So anyway, that knocked in two runs for the Tigers, and that's going to be it for uh, for Clemens. So I'm going to go get Clemens and bring in uh, da no, not Danny Darwin. Bossus uh, was a uh, a loogie, so we're not going to bring him in. Man, this is a terrible bullpen. All right, I'm going to bring in Ken Ryan. And that brings up Rusty Staub to the plate. Only one out, so let's see what happens here. No double play. So, Damon Barry Hill is up. Uh I'm going to take I'm going to take uh Bellingham out. And we're going to bring in uh, Ed Glenn only had 15 innings that year, at least for the Tigers. But we'll we'll go with that. So Glenn, who didn't get very much playing time for the 78 Tigers, pitching against Barry Hill. And Barry Hill taking him deep, maybe even a home run. Uh, and it was so it is one, two, three, four, five, two, four, six, six to five. I guess we can see why Glenn didn't play much, but he did get Nixon out, and that brings up Billy Hatcher. Probably with all those righties up, it would have been better not to bring in a left-handed pitcher, but, you know. And now a lefty, he finally gets to face a lefty and move on. And he does strike him out. So Jason Thompson up. Uh, bottom of the eighth inning. 6-5 lead for the Tigers. Vaughn is, uh, or whoever that was, is out. Kemp is up. Kemp. Kemp is probably going to fly out to Hatcher. And then that brings up Corker. And Corcoran looks like he's going to fly out to Nixon unless it's a shallow single. No, he can't get. Wait, yeah, he did. What? No, he did. All right, so Milt May is up the plate with um, with a man aboard, and he looks like he's going to ground out. So, and Ed Glenn is tired, so I am going to take Glenn out. Uh, we will go to bullpen. Bring it. I mean, all these guys are like starter relievers. Baker? Yeah, we'll bring in Baker. And I don't even know who the good one is out there. So, anyway. 
Baker comes on, at least he had a little bit more pitching time that year than Glenn did. Looks like that'll be a ground out, and it is. So there's one down for the Red Sox. They are two outs away from losing game one, six to five. Scotty Koopa. But he walks. That brings up the Gator Greenwell. And the Gator, the Gator looks like he just launched a double. I'm going to hold, though, because 55% is not that great of an odds. Um, and now the dude is already tired. So Baker's already tired. I got to go get uh, Young, I suppose. And I am not going to bring the infield in. I'm just going to pitch to Dawson. And that is going to be, they, they, he knocked in both runs. Wait, how is Young tired? I just brought him in. I don't understand this. All right, well, whatever, I'm going to go with it. Looks like a pop-out to Thompson. So Barry Hill popped out, and Nixon, this is a, you know, I apologize. This is a lot of stuff going wrong here. I mean, the computer should have been controlling one of these teams. And I don't know why a, a pitcher who came in, who just came in, was already tired. But uh, Ryan is probably closing in on being tired, so we're going to go get him. And bring in... Uh, I guess we're bringing Dar. I mean, you know, I don't know. Finvold, was he good? No, I mean, nobody out here was good. We're going to bring in Finvold. So Mankowski up. Uh, the, the game is uh, set. What is it? Seven to seven? One, two, three, four. Seven to seven. Uh, no, wait, seven, six. Yeah, it's 7 6. The Tigers need a run right here. Mankowski up against Finbold. And see, Finbold is already tired. I don't understand why he's already tired. He just got in the game. All right, Trammell is up. And he's out, and LaFleur is up. I mean, it was a good game, but I just don't understand all this stuff about tired pitchers already in the game and everything. LaFleur singled, so he's a, uh, he's got a 95% chance at stealing right now. So let's try to steal a base with him. Um, I'm going to say hold on to the ball at 95% because I forgot to watch him. That's another thing. I mean, you know, you expect the other team is going to do whatever because, but I forgot that I'm controlling both teams. So, Of course, if you get Whitaker like he just did, that run didn't matter. So that's the game. Uh, I apologize for the, the snafus. I'll ha hopefully have those... Um, taken care of next game but that was a good game final score was seven to six with uh, Boston getting seven hits and the, the Tigers getting 11 and the Tigers had an error Clemens went six and a third and allowed six earned runs and uh, Billingham went seven and allowed three earned runs for that's going to be it for me right now i hope you enjoyed the game and look for game two sometime in the near future but that's it for me right now sportsman z bob zolke signing off